G'day everybody, Wayne from Redcliffe Land and Bay Fishing. I'm going to do another knot video today. Um, the knot that I'm going to do today is a modified version of the loop knot. Now I've done a video on a loop knot in the past, I've showed you a couple of different ways. This one includes a sinker inside the loop knot. The reason I use this one is for the bigger brim, uh, for squire, when you're catching squire in shallow reef. And um, you, you can't really use the, uh, the running ball because with a running ball sinker, I've found anyway, you've got two snag points. You've got the sinker as a snag point, and you've got the hook as a snag point. So if you put your sinker up near the, uh, the hooks and it's locked in there, you only really have to worry about where one snag point is at any given time when you're floating around the bay. So it's one that you use with the smaller sinker. Anyway, rather than talk about it, let's get to it. Righto, so we'll begin with the end in mind. This is what we're trying to achieve. You can see here, I quite often use these little half pillies or baby pillies. Um, they're very, very good bait, absolutely lethal. They'll catch pretty much anything and everything. And you can see size-wise, it's about six centimeters, seven, seven centimeters. So six or seven centimeters, the bait is exceptional. You can see here, this is the knot I'm talking about, just a little loop knot, and it incorporates a small sinker. So you haven't got the sinker running up and down your line, and that just becomes the one snag point that you're worried about when you throw out and you're drifting your bait around. So that's what we're trying to achieve. If you haven't used this bait before, strongly suggest you give it a go. It's one of my bit, my more favorite baits. Right, as you saw in the example, that was a mono line. I'm gonna use a, uh, a braid line, a 100 pound braid, because it's very easy to see. So it makes it easy for you guys to see what, exactly what I'm doing. So we've got our gang, three one-o's. We've got our sinker. Uh, the sinker can be anything, it depends on where you're fishing, what you're fishing in, the current, the wind. Um, this one here, that's about a double-o. Um, I use right down to a triple-o sinker. I, uh, I use it so that you, know, you, can, you can cast it out and you know that it's gonna be just under that surface. So let's give it a go. The loop knot, start with an overhand not to begin with, about a one centimeter hole in the knot, slide it through the back of your hook, it's quite thick line, I hope it fits through the eye, it does, slide it down onto your loop knot, let's close that knot a little bit, then you've got your knot, your tag, the only thing left is your sinker. So we put our sinker on, slide it down to the eye of the hook. So you've got the sinker on one side, little overhand knot the other side, and you just pinch it all. With your tag in, you do a normal four times round, five times round, depending on the size of your line. The smaller the line, the more times you go round. Take it back through the two circles and pull it up just like you would a normal loop knot. And you'll see the knot come together there. Remove your tag. There you go, the tag's removed. You can see the sink is going nowhere. It's caught in that loop. Absolutely lethal setup, that one. Great for a small snapper. Excellent on brim. And good for flathead. There you go, guys. That's it from me today. The loop knot that contains a little sinker. On a uh, gang of three one -0s with one of my favourite baits. The, uh, the baby pilchard.